hit me with the good stuff. What have you got for us today? Today we're going to talk about augmented reality. Ah, the Ian! Yeah! <laughs> right, what on earth is this? Well, today we're going to talk about physical computing and particularly this little microcontroller called the Arduino, which is an open source microcontroller. OK, let's start with for our in-house resident geek, it's Ian! 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 I will never bore of the Ian fanfare. It's I wonderful, love it. Isn't it. Right, what have you got for us today? Well, today we're doing 3D printing and we've got an actual 3D printer working here on the table. So let's start at the beginning. Why do we need 3D printing? Well, 3D printing lets us make things from digital models and lets us turn those into real things that we can pick up and use and touch. And they may be just toys that we play with, they may be things that we fix our mobile phones with, they may be extra cogs we need in a car. And the other fantastic thing about this design of printer is that all the plastic parts in here have been designed so that a 3D printer could make another 3D printer. Wonder, do you know the answer? Will the American government's fiscal policies ever allow a return to the moon missions in our lifetime? I'm not an economics nerd, I'm a tech geek. Ooh, Technology in there as well, because the, the way this stuff works is like the stuff that's only just happening in credit cards and in, in travel cards. So it, it's contactless technology. It's called NFC, Near Field Communication. That, to me, sounds like it's opening up a whole new door going forwards. It is. We've had games before where you have a code that unlocks some stuff or you, you buy a toy and it unlocks some other things. But because this is taking stuff from the virtual environment, from the game, and bring it into, the, into real life mm -hmm. and vice versa, it opens up some ways to interact with games and play with games where the toys can actually start to really physically evolve. Yes. So if you imagine, if you had something really high tech, like a 3D printer, which we'll talk about again later, yes. if you win a hat in the game or a suit of armour in the game, you can get that printed out as a real thing and bolt it onto your toy so your toy changes. Uh <laughs> now, every week, some geeky bloke wanders in off of the streets, eats as many biscuits, drinks as much tea as is humanly possible, and then turns up and talks about future tech. As you can see from the T-shirt, that bloke is me, and it's time for Ian's World. Super Geek! And this week, I'm going to be talking about robotics, and in particular, Casper. And I'm really lucky that over oh. here, we've got this magic mirror here. And if you turn and look there... Oh, wow! See, what that's doing, it's yeah. using you as the marker. So rather than one of the posters or anything else, it's determined where you and your body is, and it's replacing some of you by, with a dress. Do you know what? Now you are talking my language. So I don't have to actually try the clothes on. This is superb. It gives you a little flavour of what it's going to look like, doesn't so, it? So, ah, look, I can change it. And I'm so glad you were right. Hello, Ian. Hello. Ian, 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 Ian. <laughs> now, I've got to say, I feel a bit spoilt today. It's all a bit different. Firstly, you have legs. I do. Congratulations. And we're outside. What's going on? We are. Well, today we're going to talk about the Bloodhound Supersonic Coal SSC. Right, straight away you think Bloodhound. This doesn't sound like an ordinary car to me. It's not an ordinary car by any means. This is a special project that's going to try and break the land speed record and build a car that goes a thousand miles an hour. Wow, a thousand miles an hour! But at the same time, the aim of the project is to bring science, technology, engineering and mathematics to schools and colleges all over the country to get everyone excited about all the stuff that goes in to make this. Oh! That's absolutely fantastic. Right, well... Everyone, it's time to introduce our newest presenter to Cool Stuff Collective. Everyone, it's Vicky the Panda. Hello, Vicky. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How's it up there? It's very cold, but it's OK for me because I have <laughs> lots of fur and a fat belly. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, Vicky's movements are being translated here. <laughs> Is that correct? We combine it to make electricity. So if we use electricity from a renewable resource to break down the water in the first place, something like wind power or something like solar power, water in, solar power in, we end up with oxygen and hydrogen, put it in the car, recombine it in the PEM cell, and it will then create electricity and the byproduct will be water again. OK, I want to see it moving, do you? Yes. Yes, yes. come on then, yes, yes. get it right. going, get it going. Fingers crossed. There we go. Oh, ah. backwards. So that's oh, actually that. 
That's actually using hydrogen that we made earlier and <laughs> so is powering cool. this car. I can layer another tune on top, but this time I'm just going to swipe my finger over and draw. I love that. That's amazing. And if I want to change the instrument, I can do that. Now a piano. Another little twinkly. Uh, before you go, Geek, I have yep. a question for you. Um, just out of interest, what happened to all the antimatter? <sighs> I'm a tech geek, not a particle physicist. Excuse me. Ooh, touchy. TJ might have a question for us. Guys, I was wondering if editing a TV program in a tapeless system is the best thing for Cool Stuff Collective. Uh, TJ, not being funny, but we're on screen talent. Not production team nerds. <laughs> Any bamboo shoots did you have to eat to get that big? Oh, Ian, I'm not a real panda. I'm a budding, aspiring motion capture artist. <laughs> Ooh, touchy. The Milky Menace bring in the Super Geek. Right, on three. Ready? One, three, two, three. Cool stuff, Wall of Fame next week. Let me just stop you there. I can't let you get away <laughs> with those horrendous, horrendous pants. Oh, hang on, Geek. Slow down there, buddy. <laughs>